The men who committed the massacres at Berdichev and Zhitomir are from Einzen's Group C, Subcommando 4A. This is a group of only about 25 to 30 men, 25 to 30 shooters. But the technology required to kill 30,000 people requires more than 25 to 30 men, no matter how well armed, no matter how clever. And here, Ukrainian collaboration becomes crucial. The Germans knew of the anti-Semitism latent within certain segments of the Ukrainian population. They passed out a very large number of flyers urging Red Army soldiers of Ukrainian ethnicity to surrender and come over to the Wehrmacht. The Ukrainians initially thought life can't possibly be worse under the Germans than it's been under the Soviet government. A lot of Ukrainians thought that things might actually improve. Over 200,000 Ukrainian men, Red Army soldiers, surrendered. And they composed the essential pool of manpower that you need for the Holocaust in occupied Ukraine. This is shown in a German document. Six months after the invasion, the Germans actually released 280,000 Red Army POWs. And of that number, all but 10,000 were Ukrainian. Some of these men simply went back to their villages and brought in the harvest. But others took a more active form of collaboration. They form an important part of the machinery of the Holocaust, and they comprise the militia called the Polizei. The Polizei took a German uniform, a German paybook, and a German weapon, and they became the essential muscle of the Holocaust. For those men who were especially keen, they were sent to a special training camp called Travniki, and there, they were trained to become the guards in the death camps.